My name's Paul Croft. Uh, I'm a research fellow um, at the University of Lincoln. Uh, I work within the School of History and Heritage. And we run a commercial business within the school called Crick Smith uh, that specialises uh, in uh, architectural paint research, which includes not just about architecture, it's also about ships and other historic structures and how the paint schemes and the, or decorative schemes have been applied and evolved over time. I was first asked to come here about a year or so ago um, and the process involves taking a number of physical paint samples. They have to be complete um, and examining those samples in a laboratory environment back at the university. Um, I mount them up in resin and polish them back to reveal the chronology of the paint layers that's been applied over time. Um, and we look at that, we look at those from a variety of different locations within a ship like this um, and present to the client basically how um, that colour scheme has developed and evolved over time throughout the history of the vessel, not just inside but also the external superstructure as well. When you look at Caroline's history, she came here to Belfast in the 1920s. It was birthed here and used as a stationary or as a static unit during the Second World War and over the intervening years almost all the paint has been cleaned off. Uh, the main superstructure outside, but there, was, there were one or two hidden areas that we managed to find a full chronology of paint um, that certainly relate to the First World War period um, and the period just after that uh, when she was sent to the East Indies in 1919 and painted white. And in a nutshell, essentially what we found outside were a series of greys, the battleship grey, um, essentially there were three, there was a pale grey, a mid-grey and a bluish grey and those colours have been identified. They've also been quantified and colour references for all those colours, including the tropical white scheme that came afterwards, um, have been handed over to the client um, and a decision is currently being made about as to which colour she's going to be painted and presented um, that reflects her uh, her history during the World War I period.